They got my theme music. Hey, we in the lab. Hey, we can and fail. We might be cooking or doing some arts and crafts. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to do some taste testing. We got Kay, who is our lemonology, sweetology specialist. We got a guest today, Cox, Stem, Chuck. Yeah, for all y'all folks. Yeah. We in here. All y'all folk who uh oh I miss you too, Miss Horn. That's what's up. Uh we're gonna do some tie-dye today because it's Friday, it's Arts and Crafts Friday. Shout out to Miss Telk if we miss your free art Fridays at Rock Dead High School. Hey. Huh, huh. So we taking it outside because they can't do no tie-dye in my house. So it's a little warm, but it's all good. So we're gonna do this tasteology first. All right, all right. Lemonology. Hey, lemonology. Yeah. We're doing tasteology of the lemonology and the sweetology together. Right? Yeah. All right, come on. Hey. <laughs> I got my glass over. I gotta flip it. All right. is the limonologist sweet tolerance, okay? Now, if y'all don't know, Kay personally, Kay, as well as Chuck, are science educators, okay? <laughs> so, we doing a little steam today. We're going to do some science, and we're going to do some art, okay? We're going to add that A in that steam. And we shouting out entrepreneurship yeah, today? Yeah, of course. And we shouting out entrepreneurship. You know, it's hard economic times and, out there. And shout out to yeah. them PPEs for those non-profits. Y'all always talking about small business, right. but we shout, shouting out for those non-profits because hard work is hard work. Yeah. So, you know, it's COVID time. You know, I mean, that's when when genius things happen, when masterpieces are painted, when when great novels are written, when things are invented. When songs are sung. Yes. When films are made. Yes. During them pandemic time, you just had the house in quarantine. All right. So we have Kay here. Tell us the name of your business, Kay. All right, y'all. So y'all can't see my face, but y'all know who I am. So the no, no, no. So the name of my <laughs> the name of my uh, brand right now is called Lemonology. So I have see that. the colors of the rainbow as lemonade. Yes. Yeah, so I sell it in pouch form. I sell it in gallon form, and you know, for the children, I also have it in. <laughs> yes. Sir. We got the frozen. We got Pop okay. stickers too, y'all. So, so you gotta tell them all the flavors. Okay, we so start in, yes, in so red order. Yes, oh, red. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, we gotta switch this. Wait, do we have it in Roy G? Yes, it's Roy G. Bill. Yeah. Okay, Roy G. Yes. Okay. Well, this is not in a Roy G. Bill, but you know, so you can put it in there. Well, we can put it in here right here, though. Yes. Okay. Let's put. The, we gotta put the shades right. Right. Yeah. We gotta yes. get the you shades. You got one more in there too, but I ain't have a label, so you know, we have to work that out. Okay. Okay. You can put it in there too. All right. So. This one right here. Yep. Oh snap. Yep, okay. so go ahead and put it on this side. Close it in. Yep, close it in. Close it in. All right. All right, y'all. So we have the colors of the rainbow with a couple added in. So we have your cherry. Cherry. Yep. Uh -huh. and then you have your watermelon. Mm. That's yeah. my favorite watermelon. <laughs> you have your uh, strawberry kiwi. Mm. Your peach mango. Yeah. That's what I'm going to get on. You going to get that peach mango? Uh, we have pineapple. Okay. Pineapple. Yep. We have green apple. Green apple. Still yeah, in the green apple. Green apple, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. And we have wild berry. Okay. So wild these berry. are the pouch sizes, but we also sell them in the gallon sizes. That's it right there. Fab. That's the gallon How size. How much is a gallon? Gallon yeah. is 10. 10 bucks for a gallon. That's going to last you probably a good week. How much is the pouch? pouches are three. Three dollars. How about this for the kids? And the kids is a dollar. And okay. what do you sell these little tiny So those food? are just, um, are uh, those are sample sizes right, for today. This is what we're going to be drinking today. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Order. In that yes. order. In that order. So. In that order. Okay. Now also, Kay also does trick out sweetology. She has tricked out rice creepy treats. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tree? Rice Krippy tree. We got Oreo. So do the other one. Rice Krispies. 
Which one? These ones? Yep, they don't got love and label on it. Yes. This is the Oreo. Yes, that's the Okay, and then Oreo. this is the strawberry. strawberry. And, and let me go get the ones out of my refrigerator. Right <laughs> and while she's doing that, let me te tell you about that. If, you, if you're looking for some things to do, we call this... Uh, well, I can't give the name away, but we do chemistry. This is chemistry. This is the basic of chemistry. If you having problems in chemistry, chemistry is, is a lot of times carbon based. And the best way to do that is through cooking, through cooking, having your culinary skills. This is this right here is not only science. This is steam because this is an art. You go to culinary arts. This is an art. We want you all to recognize this. Understand it with that. If your kids are not, if your kids running around and getting on your nerves, put them in front of the computer, put them in front of the, the phone, put them in front of the laptop, put them in front of whatever you have right now because we're gonna hit you all with some science. It's Fun Friday. Fun Friday. Fun Friday. Fun Friday. <laughs> While she doing that, I'm gonna go run and put mine in the freezer because this is my what flavor is this again? That's blue raspberry. In case you don't know, when you see it like that, that's the blue raspberry. <laughs> hey. And for and for all of those all of those guys out there from 1911, you know who I'm talking about. Hey, we gon' we gonna freak this, we gonna freak this wild berry <laughs> with a little something. We gon' we gonna put this and we gonna have some, we gonna put this and do what you do. You know how we do. Yeah, so again, ladies and gentlemen, the name of the business is called Lemonology. So taking orders whenever you're ready. If you you can follow me on um, Instagram, my name is the Excuse me, K underscore the underscore sweetologist. So follow me. All right, we're going to do this taste right here. All right, everybody got this. Uh, and this order whenever y'all right, ready. So let's let's start with the rainbow. Oh, you oh, started with the rainbow. The other, uh, oh. Christmas treat. She has, my favorite is the banana pudding rice crispy treat. It got <laughs> some little vanilla wafers in that thing. Glade with a little banana, banana glaze. Woo wee. Then we got peanut butter jelly time. Peanut right, butter Christian jelly treat. time. Now, I don't really like peanut butter, butter, but I'm going to try it just for today. <laughs> you ain't allergic to peanut butter now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I but, just don't but, like but, it. But, but know, know if you have peanut butter allergies. You yeah. should, before you do that, make sure you always tell your science teacher about any allergies, any nut allergies right. you have, if you're lactose intolerant, any of that. Yep. Um. We got chocolate, chocolate, and we got red velvet. You see, I've been picking off that red velvet. <laughs> yeah, red. yeah, you already, All right, you already so went into that red velvet. Let's, let's do the juice first, okay? All right, juice first. All right, so we're going to go in, in color order. You ready? Which one is this? That is cherry. Cherry. Now, I ain't no, usually no fan of cherry. Well, just look, just take thing. it slow then. Take that's enough, slow. that's enough. Just, just enough just to we hit just, it with. We just got to hit it. Because, you know, I'm sugar diabetic and I can't be drinking all Yeah, you might need to put a little water in yours. Okay, so this one is the cherry. You ready? Cherry. All right, here we go. Thank <laughs> boy. That's cherry, though. That's it real cherry. cherry. It is. It tastes just like cherry now later. That's what I was thinking. That's mm. cherry now later. <laughs> That's it right there. So you like cherry now later. That's your thing. Or a Jolly Russell. That cherry Jolly Russell. Yeah, for sure. Selma, you ain't getting no more water. All right. So here we go. What flavor is this here? This that is, is nope, that yep. is watermelon. Watermelon, watermelon. okay. Walla, walla melon. Walla That's melon. enough, because okay. I got to go through all these. Now. Yeah, okay. Red, yeah. watermelon, here we go. Ooh. Child, you too far. That thing, yeah. That now thing. that tastes like them little, what's them? Them, them sticks, remember them yeah, watermelon sticks? Yeah. That's, that's what's up. I was up. in Southwest Middle School. Now y'all know I can't. I'm not gonna have the desserts until tea. later, till after sun. But I'm doing this. Okay. This is water. It's, it's, it's good. Water. And so it's warm it. out here. So this mm. one is what strawberry kiwi. Strawberry kiwi. Strawberry kiwi. Go. Kiwi. 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 What you think? Sure. So these mix very well with anything. These that, are that, that, a that, that's great a subtle, base. That's subtle right there. That is subtle. It's not as hard. That one is, yeah. I like that one because it's kind of smooth. Yeah. Smooth. So, yeah. That would so, go real nice with some Bacardi that's what, Dragonberry. That, that, that's what I was about uh -huh. to say. If you did with that Bacardi Dragonberry, if y'all like that, some of y'all like that Ciroc, uh, mm -hmm. what's that Dragonberry that had? But of course, these are non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic. Non -alcoholic. Yes. Okay. All right. First, the children first, children. then the adults yep. Then the adults second. second. Y'all yes. like your yes. Get my 501 But But um, 1800 goes 500, really nice with it as well. 500 OB. <laughs> that would be my number. <laughs> That is the pineapple now, mango. Excuse me, wrong. That peach is uh, mango. peach mango. Peach, I know oh. this one. Okay, let me see. Uh, I need a little bit more. This, this is yeah, one. That's this, the one you want. This is one I want to try. Okay. Peach mango. Here we go. 
Yeah. That one need to be in the freezer. I need that yeah. one in the shake freezer. Shake them up. I need to shake them up. That's why they're so sweet. They, look, they, they fresh out the market. Fresh out the market. Uh, yes. Which one? That pineapple? Yeah, that's how you do it. I don't really like pineapple, but I'm going to try it. Don't, don't try it. Listen, listen. No, I'm, I'm okay. This is the all, all in the name of science. All in the name of science. I'm just going to get a little teeny tiny bit. Little teeny tiny bit. But all this is lemonade, right? All of it's lemonade. It's flavored lemonade. Yes. <laughs> it tastes like pineapple for real though, ain't right? yeah. Yeah. It ain't bad now. Yeah. I just we just not pineapple. For those who love pineapple, they're gonna love it. If you love yes. pineapple, yeah. you gonna love that. I'm just I ain't never been no pineapple fan. Yeah. But Erica Badu, if you watching, mm -hmm. Erica Badu, she said she don't like pineapple. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mel, shout out to Mel. He uh, put out today on Facebook. What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy was Johnny Appleseed Sour Apple. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. The rare pan, yeah, Alexander yeah, Gray. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just like yeah. lemon heads. Yeah. All that Alexander Gray. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, take that back. That's the top. Yeah. All yeah. day, baby. I need a. Is this? Oh, what that tastes like. Is what it is. That's what that is. That's what that is. Yeah. That's that. That takes you like like that. Take you back to the day. Yeah. That's my favorite one used to be them lemon heads. I'm old school baby boy. You know, like baby boy sitting on the corner of that movie when you eat them lemon heads? Yeah. Uh, that's me. I'm Mine is the chairs. Chair Mine is the chair ones. I know what that is. So you ain't even got the chair, but let me say what that one is. Oh. I remember that one. That was blue raspberry, right? That there. is blue raspberry. That was getting into my, into my, into my, <laughs> into my spectrum. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, I appreciate it. Yes, Miss Kim, it does mix well with any spirit. <laughs> Mixes very well with any spirit. I like that. Oh, that's cool too. Yes. That one in the strawberry tea was, he was real smooth and mild. They, yeah, they, that's, that's us saying that now. You try, try. I, I, I'm, I'm saying it from a diabetical perspective. Right. You know, because when I taste them, I know, you know, what has a lot of sugar that's very really sweet, and then the mild ones, that's the ones that I'm So, once raspberry. again, the, the, the blue raspberry and the strawberry tea. Now, take that one a little really slow, because that this one is right a little bit. This right here is the wild berry. Oh, now, this is okay. the one that I think this is the Friday oh, night. She one. said you got to take them one slow. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? Oh, it's going to be real, real sweet. I don't know, but I'm just saying, you take it. This is the one that, this is the one we're going to put that, we're going to put that, yeah, root to the brush. Yeah. That's a cute oil right there. Yeah, yeah. They need to use it for the cute oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that, yeah. Oh, Miss Walker, this is called Lemonology. They are sampling the Lemonology. Today is our entrepreneurship um, day. We're shouting out to all entrepreneurs and all business owners, everything like that. So we shouting out yeah. to. And we're gonna, and you know, on, so on another project going on, not gonna say, but we are definitely going to talk about entrepreneurship because on the social studies spectrum. For those that are in, we talk about economics and everything like that. On the science, is a most entrepreneurial, um, most of the entrepreneurial market from 2006 to now has been in that space. Um, I was watching something called The Inventor with a young lady who even tried to do the test with Walgreens. If some of y'all have seen that on Hulu, she tried to have the little, it's called the Edison machine. If you can see The Inventor on Hulu, watch that. But that's in a medical space, but I'm telling you. I'm trying to get our kids to understand that everything that you do is STEM. Every business, there's not a business out there that you can name that I can't tell you where it's STEM qualifications <laughs> and where it's STEM concepts come in. And I can't do that till late. You can't do that till late. All right. We're going to wait on that. I'm going to go can ahead do and it. break off a little piece of this Don't Oreo rice crispy treat just right now. Just I'm going to take some home and I'll tell you about it on my own. On my own. <laughs> and, and, and do a watch party. That's the Oreo? That's the Oreo, baby. What is, what is it? Oreo, what's the name of it again? Tell the folks again the name. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Sweetology is the name of the uh, Rice Krispie Treats. Lemonology is the name of the lemonade. Yes. So, uh, Sweetology is just um, different flavors of Rice Krispie. Kind of get a little flair on the end of that. So, I have six currently. Six currently. Banana pudding one right here. Boo boo. Peanut butter jelly time. Strawberry, red velvet chocolate, and Oreo. Strawberry. Yeah, that Oreo good. Strawberry. Oreo and banana pudding is my favorite. So um, again, the IG is um K underscore the 
underscore sweetologist. So you'll find all these lovelies on there as well as that's ten dollar gal gallon size. Yes, ten dollar gallons. Three dollar pouches. Three dollar pouches. And, and then we have the they, dollar of. They in the freezer. Oh. <laughs> For the kitties, the, 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 the little push-ups. And then the sweetsology. These are two dollars. So yep. Y'all hit me up. Oh, and that two dollars is on special because it's normally three dollars. <laughs> it's normally three dollars, but we doing two dollars for the for the for the week. Yes. So. Moving on to our next entrepreneur. Okay, so give a shout out to Ayana Card. Needthattea.com. So me and Ayana have a partnership. Needthattea.com. Because I am not a t-shirt. I mean, I, I have great ideas. So I have some ideas for shirts. I'll pass them on to Ayana. Needthattea.com. She will make it happen. So actually, so I have a couple of side hustles or partnerships with her. Black Atlanta is a book that I'm coming out with hopefully, well I ain't gonna say hopefully, July 2020. And it's basically my memories of, or you know, my take on growing up being black in the ATL. So, this is from one of the poems in my book. It's called Schoolhouse Rocks. Dedicated to them APS folk, all them ATL, APS folk out there. So basically, this is the first part of the poem in the book. So if I see this shirt somewhere else, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> so Ayana has another NeedThatTea.com. That is her major website, but she has another site where you can actually get the Black Atlanta shirt. And this shirt is Neegency. So like agency, so Neegency. N-E-E-D-G-E-N-C-Y.com. Neegency.com. <laughs> N-E-E-D-G-E-N-C-Y.com. Yes. NeedThatTea.com <laughs> So Ayana, we appreciate you. So the poem goes, Mays High Doug, Harper Northside, Brown Crown Fulton, George High and Southside, Carver Grady, Turner North Fulton, Archer Sylvan Thera, Washington, and West Fulton. These are the schools where we were educated before cheating scandals and charter schools were created. Cause our teachers wanted to make sure that we accomplished the goals that we stated and we had a little sense before we graduated. <laughs> so, yeah, that's an original friend tablet. Black Atlanta, coming to you soon. Go on and get that tea. Hashtag APS Ho. Hashtag Black Atlanta. Hashtag Black Atlanta, all right? Hashtag need G C N E E D G E N C Y dot com. <laughs> need that tea dot com. Appreciate you, Chuck. Alright, so let's go on over here. We're gonna make our own shirts today though, okay? So, Chuck, I want you to talk about tie-dye. Because you're the science teacher and I don't really know what the science behind it is. I know like some people add um what's the acid called? Um they add a uh soda ash soda ash to it. Well, well soda ash to it, which okay. you know which you can't have your carbonates. But are we gonna do that today? We wanna come back to that in case they wanna do that. I don't wanna really okay. get it to you wanna talk okay. about this you wanna talk about the science today? Cause I really want okay. this for fun Friday. Okay. We're gonna come back we'll to that. We, what we'll do is keep yeah. it light. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll add to this in the comments. We'll add a video that talks about the science behind that because we we're doing a lot today in one episode So we want to move on to it and talk about the steps to it because I know if I get into the science I might lose some of you all so we're okay. gonna have we're gonna do the get you we're gonna do the grab you okay. and Get you okay. and then we'll talk to you about the science behind it later. Okay, so uh, Just for y'all if y'all need some vinyl gloves chapa beauty <laughs> uh, at Stonecrest has them for like a dollar fifty cent house and never because it, now I ain't, I don't know if this is true, but these do <laughs> So I got a small, medium, large, and an extra large. So I'm five feet tall, so I have small hands and I usually can wear small, but this is actually a medium and it's a schmedium, okay? This is a little tight. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get one of these larges too. And I usually wear a large and this is an extra large and yeah. it's uh, it's grabbing. It's like, yeah. it's like going back Oh, to the old echelon back in the day and the women used to wear them dresses that yeah you can see yeah, the curves and everything yeah that's a little echelon dress right there y'all don't know nothing about the echelon or that, or that uh, frozen paradise okay. y'all don't remember that right there y'all don't remember that right there oh, I want to give a shout out to Cynthia too we're going to have her on soon 
Um, she does like body butters and she does a scrub for your feet. She do juices. She do so, shots with sea moth. Sepia's creation. So check her out too. Um, Google it. She has a website. So make sure you um, support my friends and they businesses. And I know I'm always supporting Marvette Davis. That's your class. No, not your schoolmate from Reading High School. She does her um, earrings. Yimmy. So, we're going to make it as easy as possible, Miss Bonnie. It's not going to be as bad as you think it is. Yes, they said it look like it's hard. So that's why I want to go to the front. That's why I want to go to the front. It's easy. I used to work, shout out to Miss Bledsoe, and I used to work with her in Newton. And we had the 21st century program, and I was the art teacher for a few years. And so this is something that I did with the kids all the time. So I yeah, we, we used to go to the uh, High Museum. We had a program um, that we used to do um, at the High Museum. And I'm telling, I wanted to bring it, but I didn't want it. I don't want anybody to see a finished product. I want you all to see us doing it, actually doing it. So. Okay, so when you get your tie dye, usually it will come with a different a, um, a pamphlet. It'll tell you how to mix different colors. Cause usually it comes with basic colors. Your primary colors are gonna be like red, yellow, blue. But of course this is the chart on how to mix up colors. But I did purchase quite a few. So I have spray on dye, which is, this is new for me. I have I've usually just used the pour dye. But basically for this, the powder comes already in there and you just put um, the water, it has a water line where you fill your uh, bottle up with water and shake it up real good. And so we have a pink, blue, and I think I left my green and yellow in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go back and get that one. And these are sprays. So I have I've never used the sprays before, but it should be a little bit neater. Typically, also when you get a kit, it usually comes with rubber bands, but I always buy extra rubber bands, and it usually comes with some type of glove. Also, it will give you ideas on how to do your tie dye, so you can be creative and just wild out and just do your own picture. Um, this is an example of dip drying where you can just mix colors and you're just taking the dye and, and pushing it through. So like for this one they put pink up here, yellow down here and just drug the colors through. Um, this is the one that I'm going to do. This is a traditional tie dye so I'm going to show you how to tie your shirt. Uh, I'm not sure which kind Chuck is going to do. You can also use stencils and you can also um, just get different techniques but it's really not that hard. It's, it should be a fun activity for you so look, i'm gonna run and get those other two dyes and then we're gonna we've got some socks and we've got some shirts we're gonna trick out okay, okay so, so oh, go ahead so so i want to say this though i want to make sure i tell you all this it is best to make sure that you use cotton products and the reason why is because um this this process is called fiber reactive and so what that means is that the molecules of the tie dye uh, there is a chemical reaction between the molecules in the tie dye and the molecules uh, in the in the fabric. So um, usually, or what happens is that the molecules of the tie dye they bond and become part. They bond with the cotton and become part of it. So it's better better to use more uh, instead of using your synthetic to use more of your natural fibers to get your best um, uh, going on. And we have Kae who has a tie dye shirt on. And, a, and a, she has a, a different variation of you can do it in different variations of this mm -hmm. but just to let you all know that because we want to talk about that with the science there that it is called fiber reactive It's a fiber reactive uh, um, thing with when you do tie dye and once again that's because you're having a chemical reaction with the molecules that are in the tie dye there are molecules we know we know about water molecules everything is a molecule but then there's also molecules in the fabric and so we want them to uh, adhere and to become part of the fabric so you need to make sure that you use a cotton uh, more so than I would using any of your uh, synthetics or any of that uh, what's that Nike dry fit I wouldn't use that so do you know what design you're gonna do uh, I ain't even really you know what because the thing about the one thing that I learned and this is just me um, I didn't come with the uh, pre notion of oh I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that because when you go to um, some of the science centers and do them, they just what, you don't you don't even know what you're gonna do. A lot of times when we take our stemistas out there, they don't know. I so I'm trying out for you to try. try. Is that the, which one is it? The, um, the, the, um, okay, the rubber bands. So mm -hmm. you gonna do figure six? Yes. You, so you need this. 
Because figure no, C is. No, because I got rubber bands. No, but figure C is with the. I know. I, I use oh, you're going you're gonna to use rubber bands. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> but he, you can use twine or rubber bands. Okay, so for the swirl, you have to actually swirl your fabric. So usually what I do is I start in the center of the shirt and I take it and I swirl. So you're actually going to take the fabric and make it into like a cinnamon roll. Okay? After you get it like how you want it in a tight little bun, then I'm going to use three different three different rubber bands. So it's going to look like a pizza pie once I finish. You can do three or four actually. And because this fabric is so thin, this might not work. Let me use a t-shirt. <laughs> Because it needs to be heavy enough for me to put the rubber bands on it. So start from the center, twisting into a ball. I want it to be kind of flat. And I would definitely say do, do it on a... Why do you see my I would feet? definitely do it in a circle. Okay. Okay, so that's rubber band number one. I really want to use it. When is it done, I'm going to look real fly. Because I'm going to be wearing my tie. tie. <laughs> it's going to have new colors. You, I might use red or I might use blue. Hey. But if I mix them, it's going to be purple. And when I get finished, it's going to be worth it. Oh, you didn't know I could wrap it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a snap. Hey. Get the rubber band. Get the rubber band. Get the rubber band. Get the rubber band. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and use four. <laughs> uh-huh. So, you see, I got a little piece of pie. Y'all see it? Hold it up. Isn't it cute? Y'all see my little piece of pie? Use four rubber bands <laughs> in all directions. Okay? All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a color in each section of my piece of pie. Sounds Does that good. that make sense? All right, so I've never used a spray dye, so I'm going to try to spray dye. What? What's up? Some of you left me in the comments. Miss Walker said, I thought that was the actual song. <laughs> hey, hey, I got so many talents. That's that, that's that original A. Okay. Even though, even though we moved to that still, that's that original A. Oh, wow. Okay. So I've never used a spray before, but I guess you can kind of control the spray a little bit better than if I just dyed it. Okay. So I'm just gonna go with just some different colors in each one of my sections. Oh, that's pretty. You gotta get all up in them folds. So it's not as wet as if you use actual um, paint. Right. Oh, or, I mean, if I use this type, it usually is very wet. Right. I need a paper towel. Uh, let me go get one. I'll be back. <laughs> So again, she has two different types. So she has the one that you actually have to add water to, but the dye already comes inside. So those are these right here. And then she has ones that you just can spray on. So she's going to do a little bit of each, just kind of give y'all a, a look at how both of them work together. <laughs> if I be in this thing, hey. got the cog in this pain. Hey. <laughs> Whistle while you work. <laughs> get that tie dye and make it so fly and get that tie dye on. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. I miss Club Nicky. You miss Club Nicky? I just thought because you remember the saying. Uh -huh. Is it in the club, Nikki? I miss Club Nikki. And Nikki, too. Shout out to the uh, dancers out there trying to get a hustle on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they back to work. Oh, I know they are. I guess you really got to throw that money now. Okay. Sit feet. Sit feet. You know what is so <laughs> hilarious to me is amateur night. I like amateur night. That's where you see too. them girls try to get it. That, that when they be hungry. They don't be lazy. They don't be out there like, you want to dance? They really be. They be like, yeah. ah, them little, young, them little new girls trying to get in. They be like, ah. Yeah. They be making Heineken like. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's keep it a uh, rated PG Chuck for the children. Oh, yeah. This is a children's show. It's a children's show, yeah. All right. So you need one let's more. get, we need red. Mm -hmm. Gotta have that red up in that boat. Come on now. That's the best color in the land. 
So you gonna leave some white or you gonna try to I'm gonna cover leave it some off? white. Okay. We're gonna see how I know it probably come out kinda like how yours is. Now one thing that is new also, typically what you would do is oh you know what? We're supposed to wet these things first. Mm-hmm. Mm. Trial and error. Trial Science. And error in the lab. You okay. See what, mm -hmm. What's different about it? If it without wetting it, because I'm gonna wet it, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in some water. I did this backwards though. We're supposed to wet our shirts first. Once you wet the shirt, then it'll just help the color go in. But I'm gonna go ahead and wet it and I have a new process where now they say you can put it in the microwave for three minutes. Because usually it will be wet and then it will just dry on its own. And yeah, then tomorrow sorry. we will undo the rubber band and then see how it came out, okay? So again, this is the lab. So, you know, you know how chemistry lasts. Sometimes you blow stuff up, sometimes you don't. All right, so go. You, you ready for yours? Yeah, you I'm, I'm going to wet mine. Okay, I'm, yeah, we're going to go wet our shirts. And, uh, so you going to wet it? I am going to wet it after the fact. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave. Okay. Three minutes. Hey, why don't you spray it instead of wetting it all the way and see if it do like that? Because if you do it, if you, like, get a spray bottle and spray it instead of this. Because if you wet it, it's going to run together. But if you I spray it. To. Okay. We're going to see. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, again, today is tie-dye day and tasting and arts and crafts. All that good stuff. So, we have introduced some entrepreneurs today. Uh, entrepreneurs who do t-shirts. Entrepreneurs who do snacks. Entrepreneurs who do um, flavored lemonades. We're kind of mixing science all into at the same time. So our main focus today is just shouting out everybody who is entrepreneurs. If you want to shout out your uh, friend, family, yourself, what your business is, we are open and we want to celebrate you and your business today. So, um, all right. So I have wet my shirt and this is the container it came in. You're like a little two minute, gold thing. Yeah, two minute tie dye. So I'm about to put this in the microwave for three minutes and we're going to see how it turns out. Huh? Say what now with me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, um, the materials that you will need if you want to do your own tie dye is uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So this is the spray bottles of the tie dye, but you can also get the old fashioned. That's the one that I know, the one that you add water to it, and the uh, dye is already in. You're also going to need some gloves and some rubber bands. Um, for those of you who missed it, we kind of did our step last, but you should make sure that your shirt is damp before you start the process, which helps the dye kind of soak into the shirt first, and then add your dye. So we kind of did step two before we did step one, but hey, it's science, so. So you said you wanted me to do that figure A one? You said you wanted me to do the figure A one? But see, look at, guess what? This is the mama, muscle memory. So what I'm getting ready to do, show that picture right there. Because she was saying she wanted me to do figure eight. That's called the traditional tie-dye. She didn't know, but I'm telling you this. So it's going. this process is a little bit different. What you have to do with this, thank you for that. This is making me use my muscle memory. Oh, so this okay. is the traditional one. So what you have to do with this one is, people would think because of a picture, you would think it's like that. But what you have to do is you have to grab it in the middle. Okay. But you can't grab all of it you just have to grab the the front of it oh, and what okay. you do is every so often you, put the rubber band you take a rubber band every so inch every so many inches okay. and, and what i like to do what i like to do is is because it'll be crazy when you do it like this i like to use a rubber band okay. <laughs> i like to use a rubber band like this so i so i don't have to use as many rubber bands Okay. So that's one rubber band. And we're gonna go, because it's gonna get thicker, we probably ain't gonna be able to do that with all of them. And we're gonna go a couple more inches. <laughs> See that muscle memory come back. A couple of inches you you can do. Depends on what you're working with, you can do a couple of inches, three or four. For most ladies, I know like at least six or seven inches in between. Really? That's <laughs> <laughs> black. Ooh, black. I'm gonna do a black and red. Get that UGA go dog. <laughs> Let me get my 
how you jig them. Okay, so I'm gonna do mine like how you doing yours. My second one. Because it's too, it's too flimsy to do the spiral with this one. So. And I can leave that or I can, do you want me to tie that one or you want me to leave it alone? Where's your, do you want to do one? I'm good. Oh, okay. You already got your tie out there. Yes. It's cute. I thank you. I don't want to use all the rubber bands, so I'm going to use... I got a whole pack right here. And I bought another pack, so we are over-prepared. Oh, that's what you should be playing. Rubber band man. Yeah. Can I, <laughs> DJ, can I get that rubber band man, Listen. please? Listen. <laughs> no. There you go. Shout out, T.I. Was that first here? Nope. No, he, he, it was that one that he, that he had with uh, Swiss Beats. Bring them out, bring them out. It's hard as, when he was there, barrels in your mouth. I watched an interview with him today. It was so funny. He went to, um, he went to Newburgh to support Kanye West. Mm -hmm. And they had a guest pastor there. And um, the dude asked everybody in the audience, well, not everybody in the audience, but everybody who could give like $1,000. Everybody could give $1,000. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. But he kind of felt uncomfortable because he kind of put them on the spot because they were a little late, so they made him sit on the front row. <laughs> so it was like, oh, so you're going to make me sit on the front row, so I made me feel uncomfortable. So, yeah. So, and I'm going to read this for you because if I do it, because I, I just went and did that real fast, so I'm going to make sure you do it. So, to read what I just did, so you'll see. I hope they give you all the directions that I did. Pinch the shirt in the yeah, pinch the shirt in the middle, grabbing the top layer only. Oh, yeah, these are pretty good instructions. Pull up and secure with elastics every couple of inches. I added a little. Spray each section of fabric. I'm not gonna spray. I'm gonna use the traditional Tradition. because I'm going with because if we don't have a purple, okay. we do have a purple spray, but I'm going old school. And you need to know your Roy G. Bill. So Roy G. Bill, the colors of the rainbow. And we're gonna do that another time because there's a physics lesson for, for rainbows. So we're gonna do something with water and rainbow a little bit later. But Roy G. Bill, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. And then violet, which is which, which is still. But what you have is your red, your yellow, and your blue. Yeah. If you look at I and V in between, if you because you have to kind of loop it around. I tell kids when they do it, don't just write it out. I know a lot of educators back in the day used to tell you to just write it out and know them. I tell you to do it in a circle because if you do it in a circle and you circle the red, you circle the uh, yellow, and you circle the blue, what you'll see is the ending going violet. If, if you add more in blue into it. It, when you mix red and blue, you'll get indigo. If you mix more red, you'll get violet. Then when you get to the red, then you have O, Y for red, orange, yellow. Red and yellow make orange. And then you can have more purple. So I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little, see how they tell you to do it. They say to spray. What do they say? Spray each section. Oh, each section mm -hmm. with um, different colors until it's saturated as you like. Yeah, my UGI. Put a little more on that side right there. Which, which, oh, this one yeah. right here. I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna. See, I don't care about messing up because I'm gonna add this. Let me make sure. I don't care because I'm gonna sop it yeah, up. Yeah, sop it. I'm gonna sop it up. That's good. That's better. Yes. I can't wait to see how these come out. So, your other one, I think, is done. I heard it. Oh, then. yeah, you heard it, Dean. All yeah. right, let me go see how I did in the microwave. <laughs> This is my first time using a microwave with the tie dye. The old school. Yeah. The new school. The new school way. Chuck doing the old school. This is the way I know. So Chuck, you gonna shout out your, your business? Your entrepreneurship? This is a, it's a non-profit 501c3 creating opportunities for girls. We do STEM. There's a lot of people in the STEM market right now. We've been around, been, uh, we've been doing this. Um, as a 501c3 since 2012 and I've been a grassroots in this STEM thing since 2006. My daughter who is now 24, shout out to my grandbaby and, and, and her mama. <laughs> See, I shouted out to the grandbaby. Now, it's a good thing about that, but shout out to my grandbaby and my, and my, and my daughter. She, um, when she was in, in, when she was in elementary school, I found out there was a lot of things that mothers, uh, women that are teachers, and nothing against women teachers, just sometimes we need everybody. We need to make sure that we're cultivating our young women 
into the sciences. They're needed because women think differently than men, and um, they do more collaboration. Men are always trying to see who's going to be first, who's going to be the top dog. Competition. Competition, where women like to collaborate. It's the C versus C. Competition versus collaboration. Not saying that is true in all men, and not saying that both is not needed, but we don't need a heavily dominated um, market either way. We need balance. So shout out to those um, to those teachers and those and those like she said those old school teachers that used to push you to be like you can do this you can become this you can be that you don't have to just be that and you see I'm a cheating look at I'm having a just to make sure you can't look at I'm cheating I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do the middle school this middle school this the middle school add a little bit of that you cooking over there ain't you yeah I'm <laughs> Ooh. I like the, the edges, but the middle part, it kind of reminds me of yours. You look like yours. Right. But you, you can, can see, the see the spiral, spiral though. Yeah. So usually when you use the traditional, like how Chuck is doing, the colors come out a lot more vibrant and more, because it soaks through the fabric. That, that so. like we say, fiber reactive, fabric yeah. reactive, because you have that so. chemical reaction between the molecules of the tie dye and you have but, okay, but it takes time but you know what it's time too you need the time that time and that's why i'm gonna let mine sit out let mine sit out i'm gonna take mine with me and let it sit out in the sun one more time so the spiral is a little faint but you can see it yeah. it's pretty oh this one gonna be real so oh, that's that new school y'all that's that's the spray paint, paint. Microwave. microwave kind I mean, Chuck over here, he doing surgery. I'm trying to microwave my neck. Over here. So <laughs> he's looking good. Yeah. yeah, he making my favorite color over here. Purple. Yes. And then what I'm going to do here. I'm an all shades kind of girl. As I'm going to do a little middle school with it, I'm going to add a little this in the center. So I want to okay. add a little to make it the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Now that, that old go. Hmm. <laughs> now, Rue, <laughs> Rue doll, Rue. <laughs> and then we're going to do this right here. Yeah, a little bit right here. This is that old school. So you going to leave some white too? Or you going to do the whole shirt? Uh, I'm going uh, I'm to I'm spray it again. Okay. I'm going I'm to do the spray right there. But if you notice, I did, because I want this to be more violet than indigo, what I did was I started with red, then I um, lay it with blue, and then I'm ending with red, because the more red that you put in there, the more purple it will, it will become. Gotcha. And not be as, as indigo. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, because it's going to need a little bit of blue. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'm going to, in this side, I'm gonna, and you're going to see hints of red in here as well. Taking you out of school. Oh, he not putting the gold on there? Yeah. Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know how to get a little bit in there. <laughs> you know, to sneak it in there. That's gonna be cute. I feel like cheating. It ain't gonna look right though. I know. Maybe not. No. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you can always add with the thing and, and make, you know, like they've done, like make your own little swirl design with it if you want to, to go over it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no. You scared, huh? I ain't, I ain't never scared. Is you scared? Nah, Charlie. We ain't never scared. We ain't never scared. Man, let's see, see all them at ATS. Shout out, shout out to, to shout out to Bone Crusher. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Bone Crusher. You know what I'm saying? We, APS it had a lot of a lot of people. A lot a lot of people. Shout out, shout out to them. Uh, to to Doug. Shout out to 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 Nisi and Tarshell and Killer Mike. Killer Mike. Oh my Doug, hi friend. Shout out to Lilo. If you want to do some STEM with gardening, I mean, we're gonna have to get Lilo over here. He, I don't know if y'all get that. Lilo. He, he that, that energy Lilo got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You might know. I don't know. I, I show it to he on, he on the he on the. I think he on the book. I know he on the gram. Okay. He might be on the book. <laughs> now the light might twirl around. My twirl. Pants. Pants. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I bought some, some twister pants the other day from, uh, <laughs> ooh, did I get on my shirt? No. Okay, very good. I got on my toes, though. What you want? No, I don't know nothing. I'm, watch, I'm watching you. But this has tumble dry, so that means you can put this in the dryer? Yeah. That's how you dry this one? Uh-uh. <laughs> so That's your go, eh? Like, it looks like a twister. I'm going to wear it with my twister paint. Uh. So maybe it'll bleed. It looks like it's bleeding. See, I'm adding a little bit more red to it. Because I want mine to yeah. really be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to come be soft, though. Oh, yeah. That's why I got two, because I knew if I didn't buy one, you was going to be mad. Okay, I'm going to try to freestyle this one. Let's see what it's going to look like. What color I want my socks, y'all? Somebody tell me what color do the socks. Oh, maybe like some yellow and orange. You going to wear them? Yeah, I'm going to wear them. Wet them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm going to wear them. That's that, 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 that long. Yeah, I'm going to wear them. I ain't going to do them. I ain't going to wear them. So we're gonna let this sit. Right there. We're gonna let this sit. This gotta sit. And that, even though you see this now, tomorrow it'll be purple because the red will bind with the blue. And you get more of a. And then I'll wash it too. When you're old school, do you wash yours afterwards? Mm hmm. Yeah. So I rinse it, it. I rinse it. After I, after I let it dry, I rinse it. And then I. Uh, and then you wash, wash it. it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna let this sit out here for a while. That's it again. Oh. Yeah. Stop. Hmm. What color stop? <laughs> what? You be laughing, you gotta tell me what you're saying. <laughs> Fred said, I'm upset because y'all over here. Charles over there, Kay over there. <laughs> ooh, ooh, who said this? Miss Nichols. Check, girl. <laughs> she said she just want to yell at us through the phone. Why? Oh, she mad because I got company. Yes. I'm supposed to be quarantined. Yes. Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay. If I'm going to get it for you, if I, hey, uh, y'all know y'all got to be at the Walmart. Hey, hey, I trust, I trust, this one right here, this, it's 30 years. Next year be, well, longer yeah. than that, really, but no one, no one, 30 years. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, hey, if I, so, 91. 91, it was 91, my bad, because we about to have 30 year reunion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I, I missed my last reunion call, because I was on, I was K and Fab in the last. <laughs> they was having a reunion thing while we was at the thing. Well, you could have cut it short. I didn't know we was having a meeting. I didn't even, meeting. I forgot what time. Oh, okay. Oh, not you in time. Okay. Chat said that don't make no difference. What <laughs> don't make no difference? That y'all been knowing each other 30 years. Oh, the corona don't care about that. <laughs> corona don't care today. <laughs> corona only 19. We got 30, so damn that. <laughs> we How be about trying that? 30 so is hard. greater than... Math problem. 30 is greater than 19. <laughs> <laughs> Chat said coughs are different now than 91. What'd she say? She said oh. coughs are different. Really? <laughs> now than in ninety one. Oh, right. Yeah. Huh? Right. <laughs> going to work. I don't go to work. Oh, uh, yes, we do. I'm sorry. I don't leave my house to go to work. Thank you. Yeah. Correction. Yeah, hey, I like this spray. Look, look, look at this one, though. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's why I like oh, the spray. Oh, that's cute. You got to know how to deal oh, with the spray. Yeah, you can make little. Oh, you can probably make some leopard. Oh, you can make some leopard. Oh, it can go to the bag. Oh, but it's cute though. I like it. Now, Chad, he's staying away. He, he. I like it. Isn't that cute? Oh. That is cute, girl. I told you you should have put a little more on there, but I'm sure oh, you're going to. I gonna, like it. You're going to you you do some more. Yeah. When I bust this up at homecoming, <laughs> y'all going to be like, I'm going to throw a G on there. Throw a G on that motherfucker. Mel said throw the earrings are fire. Say what? Mel said those earrings are fire. Marvin Davis, yimmy.com, Y I M I. I hope I got these people on websites, right? Wait, Just so Google it. Nothing on the back? Of what? The okay, shirt? nothing on the back of the shirt. Oh, not really. I told him to put that. She, we were talking about it. Remember we had that conversation about that? I'll get something printed on there. Throw a G on there. I like it, though. That's cute. Love it. Love Chelsea it. said, love it. My 
you a GA shirt. Go dogs. You know what? Go I'm going to just tell y'all like this because I know y'all don't think I got a rhyme for that. Throw a G on it. You know, it go like this. Homecoming, we coming back. Our homecoming black. Got to get that red and black. Give it some of that. Cause throw a G on that. Throw a G on that. Yes, we coming back. See, HBCU people be giving us a hard time. A whole hard time. But you know what? Bonnie says, love the socks. Anytime I go somewhere, they'll be like, oh, you went to your gym? You okay, you're hired. You're hired? You're hired. <laughs> Is that right? We need some we need some progressive blacks. <laughs> You're hired. I'm playing. I ain't. But not playing. I'm playing, but I ain't playing. I'm for real, but not for real. Oh my god. Okay, I am sticking to the red and the black. I like the little but you know no 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 no. I'm gonna do some leopard. I'm gonna try to do some leopard. <laughs> leopard print. You gonna make brown? Uh uh. Sure. <laughs> Chad said they are social distancing at HBCUs. What? What do you mean? See, they understand mean? how to social distance. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't either. I didn't get that. One. You missed us on that one, Chad. Chad said, "Rep the G." Yeah. Respect yes. the G. Yes, respect, respect the G. Move, sir, before you be purple. Move. <laughs> and then I had to take Move. you home. Yeah. Go on now. You know, last time we did a project, he was eating paint, but it was non toxic. Okay. Uh, Mel said, Doc, make me a pair of red and black candy cane socks. <laughs> <laughs> he the cap. Because he see Chuck over here doing that. Shimmy. Suit. Yep. Some shimmy. Some shimmy socks. Okay, they don't really look like leopard. It looks more like Halloween socks. Yeah, that's why she was going to do a little brown on it. I ain't got no brown. How you make brown? Just uh, all them colors. All them colors. I know well, you except for blue. except for something. You don't have brown on here. I think I had to add some blue to it. You had to do what is it? Isn't it no, isn't it? Wasn't it red, orange, and green or something? Or I'm red, orange, and blue. I know how to make it's red, brown. orange, and green, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> okay, now I look like Clemson. Clemson tag. Just keep just keep going to the left. <laughs> But I'm gonna wear them. I'll show you. Enjoy. He making up Omega. Y'all like my socks? Okay. Now she's talking about me. Is that a hook? He's gonna put an Omega on his socks. Rue? Rue. To the breeze. Oh, wow. I like my socks. See. You gotta do them like that, like one. Yeah, you gotta do them so you know. So I, once I know, I know which one is the left and which one is the right. And there you go. Oh, See this? Okay. One, oh, that's a good. Anybody that's in there. Oh, shout out to my. If you are looking for some really professionally done um, tie dye socks. These are professionally done. You know. What I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Shout out to my boy Jeffrey Jeffrey Lee, Jeffrey. Charlotte, North Carolina, by way. Well, no, Atlanta now by way of Charlotte, North Carolina. When they open back up, you can find him at uh, his Instagram is H T D O G W T R Hot Dog Water, no vowels except the O. Hot Dog Water H T D O G W T R, or you can catch him uh, at Never Too Fly to Pray. That's his. That's his new Never Too Fly to Pray. You might have seen him if you've been around. Uh, Pont City Market, you might have seen the van. Never to fly to pray. Never to fly to pray. Jeffrey, I shot, and then when you when you get it on there or whatever like that, uh put in the uh C O G. Let him let him know. Let him just let him know that you were sent. Let, let him know. Let him know. Well, friend, you know, when, when school gets back in, you can wear these for, you know, tacky day. <gasps> or uh <laughs> Or, or sock day. Oh, we have a sock day. We do have a sock day, so you know, whenever they open the schools yeah. back up, you can do funky sock day. Or you know, only wear them at nighttime. I don't wear socks at night. Before I'm a night. Flip flop person. Flip flop. My feet. I don't like when my feet be hot. 
I don't really sleep with top sheets either. Hey, hey, hey. Because it be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I don't like to be too hot. So you know which side you need. Okay. Out there in Facebook land. Any questions? Um, no, they're just enjoying the uh, music, they're okay. enjoying the tie dye artwork, uh, the corona conversations. Addison Healthcare said, Chuck, what's good? What's up? What's up, boy? I know who that is. That's a dare, a dare. He be incognito. Oh, I see. It's COVID quarantine time. Everybody incognito. Shout out to the pharmacists out there. Oh, yeah. My neighbor, uh, Jessica, she's a pharmacist. She's so, uh, <laughs> appreciate you getting our drugs and everything. Chat, I know you are. What? I know you cussing at them. What? She said she cussing at y'all. Wow, we're too close. We're going to be six for the park. It's too late now. Mm. Get close. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh. Okay. You see, we turned music. away from each other when we flow. Yeah, How about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. All right now. All right, so I ain't got nothing else to die. You straight? I'm straight. Alright, we done died all our school. We tie dye that. <laughs> Anybody else want to shout out on this entrepreneur tie dye day? Taste test. Let's see who we done shout out. We done shout out. Taste, shout it? It taste out. test. The Negency.com. Negency. For the APS. Hashtag APS host shirt. Ayana card. Her need that T. <laughs> That's her main website is Negency.com. Um, I told you. Earrings by Marvette Davis. Um, I believe it's Yimmy, Y-I-M-I. -I. And then Marvette, if you look at this, make sure that you uh, type that in in the comments so they'll find out. Yeah, y'all get y'all information out there. And I'll go back and put the information too in the Facebook Live video. Shout out to, once again for the for somebody who's really in this market of tie dyeing a lot of different things. Uh, Never Too Fly to Pray, Jeffrey Leather. Also, he can, he can freak your Goran's hat. If you're into Goran's hat and leg and ring, he can do different things to your hat, do, doing different chemical, th chemical things and burnings and things of your hat to you give you a different look. But I ain't trying to give everybody my style secret. Yeah. Shout out to all the nonprofits out there doing STEM work for the girl because we know that hard work is hard work. And shout out to Youth Neat. Giving a shout out to Tori Hicks. If you are a nonprofit and you don't know what to do, I've heard a lot of nonprofits ask like, "You, lady, like, yeah, you, we you, trying to start you, out. We started like you did. You had a non, you got a nonprofit, like you, a five hundred one c three. I'm telling you, I did a lot. I did a lot. I did a lot on my own, but I had already made sure that I had my stuff into the IRS. But Youth Neek, Y O U T H N I Q U E dot com. Tori Hicks, Youth Neek. Tell her, tell her, Doctor Cog sent you. She'll, she'll, she'll know what's up. Youthneek.com. I ain't trying to say you're going to get no hookup, but she'll, she'll treat you right. Creation. Cynthia Creation. Shout out to Cynthia Creation. C-E-T-H-I-A Creation. C-E-P-H-I-A Cynthia, like phone and fuck. Cynthia. C-E-P-I-H-P-H-I-A Creation. Cynthia Creation. Shout out again to my vet. For the yes. earrings, yeah. uh, need that T and needgency.com. Yeah. Those are the two websites. If you specifically look at, look out for that book coming soon, Black, black Atlanta. Atlanta, and that's can I tell them how that's black? No, no, we'll just let Black Atlanta. We'll, we'll just we, we'll let you see it when when you see it when you you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. That thing is smoking. <laughs> Come out that microwave. I don't know about. I, maybe I should have read the direction on the microwave. So. I don't know, cause see this, these say air dry. That's what you gonna do. Mm -hmm. And then after you let it air dry, you gotta heat set it with the iron. Mm -hmm. So hit it with the iron. Yeah, this microwave stuff be hot. 
Alyssa Walker says, Alicia Walker says, me, independent consultant with paparazzi accessories. Yes, Mel and Kiki is paparazzi people. So that's uh, Alicia Walker and Jamel Burgess. Shout out to the right. shout out to all the artists that we use today. Shout out to the Yin Yang Twins. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Miss, I'm sorry, I must I still had to call him DJ Smurf, Mr. Collie Paul. Yeah. For all them fresh beats. Shout since I'm shouting shouting him out. Shout out to since we talked about HBCU. Shout out to Alabama A and M where okay. he went. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that UGA. Fort yeah. Valley State yeah. University okay. in the building. Okay. Yes. Since we talking about Fort Valley, shout okay. out to the bros at Marco Pizza. Okay. Glenwood <laughs> Park. Shout out to Kino. Kino. Ruth. Shout out to United Five. Miss Addison said, um, check out the fundraiser for Addison Healthcare. Um, they're trying to make masks and hand sanitizers for underprivileged communities. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, WW. Do that, Adele. Hey. Okay. Shout out to, hey, man, that man, that man grinded with that pharmacy, man. Grinded with him. I remember sometimes he called me, because everybody know I don't sleep. I talked to that man. We had him have four, four o'clock conversations, man, while he was trying to grind and get his own going. That's entrepreneurship in the stuff. Get get there, get the information, and then get out and get it yourself. Yeah. Miss Walker says her website is www.peace. Did you put it on there? Yes. You read it in or she told you this? I, you ain't got to read it all out. Yes, man. I can. Okay, okay I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I ain't. www.lovepeaceandbling.com. We say it right. www.lovepeaceandbling.com. <laughs> chat said you should do a STEM workshop next week. Oh, tell us chat to give me some money. She know I ain't doing for free no more. She already know that. She know what it is. Hey, and while we talking. Yeah, that limonology next week. <laughs> Shout out again to <laughs> Lemonology for the refreshments. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't eat it now, but later on, yeah. sweet tology. Yes. These are yeah. cannabis free products. <laughs> but, you can, so you but, you, but you can add, you can add a little. I can show you how to, well, we, this ain't that thing. It's that, not, we're educators. No, that's agro science. You ain't gonna tell me ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, and let me tell you something else. If you have a kid, no, no, seriously. Let me take this moment, because everybody know, you know I was down there. When I lived in Mississippi, people were asking me why I was in Mississippi. Little known fact, your child go and get an agri-science degree from a university. Fort Valley is a great, Fort mm -hmm. Valley is a great for STEM. Woo -woo. People think about Georgia, I love my Georgia and I love the things we're doing at Georgia. But they're giving away money and doing things at Fort Valley and at Clemson. Shout out to the old school as well, Georgia, we need to hit it up. But once you've done that, if your kid wants to get in there, he got friends to smoke bud, go to Ole Miss Pharmacy School. They got a marijuana field, the only USDA approved marijuana field, they do marijuana testing. Then you have some credentials behind your name when you talk about that bud. I can talk about it, because I know about it. But get you some credentials. Also for those students that are interested in agri-science and bioscience and possibly going into vet science, the USDA also has a land-grant scholarship for several HBCUs. It is a full ride, meaning it, also, it pays for tuition, housing, food, and once you graduate, they will give you a job at the United States Department of Agriculture. So Google that. Yeah, see how she went. Yeah, see how she went from, from know, hood to different. counselor, I know, that was hood to mm, professional, <laughs> hood <laughs> to professional. And, and, and speaking on that as well. Like we have a, <laughs> really? Have a, no, seriously. Speaking, speaking about on that too. Speaking on veterinarians. <laughs> they have now decided you, to be uh <laughs> If you have a, if you have a child they, and you want, they want to go on, they're, they're very good in the arts since this is a STEAM activity and they're very good at drawing. The University of Georgia has an art program with yes. medical illustration. Yeah. We have sent many of students through through her program, through mm -hmm. Cobb. Go uh, dogs. And they can always mm -hmm. bring out, they can also bring out the dogs to the school to mm -hmm. teach the kids in middle school and uh, early high school about veterinarian. But if your kid mm -hmm. is into <laughs> illustration, loves animals, but doesn't want to actually work on them and operate on them, but is very interested and very gifted in the medical field, mm -hmm. medical illustration is the way to go. And mm -hmm. there's only Four schools in North America: St. Uh, John, what, 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 Hopkins, St. John's. There's one John in Hopkins. John Hopkins. I'm sorry, thank you, John Hopkins. Um, there's one uh, in Canada. There's several others, and then the University of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They also have UGA Fort Bay and a great camp. I know they probably canceled all their camps this summer due to COVID. However, hopefully next summer, if we are back to somewhat normal, um, looking to getting your kids into camp, uh, UGA has a lot of different camps. Including the COG Bio STEM camp. Yes.
Oh, my phone about to die. Okay. All right. Well, I think um we we good. You you got anything else to say, Chuck? Hey, I appreciate K A E and F A B K and F A B in the lab allowing Cog Film to come and join them today. If you want any kind of recipe, you know we'll try it. If you want us to do any kind of crafts, you know we'll do it. So send us some suggestions on other kind of arts um, things that we can do on our Facebook Live. Hello. You gotta do this. Oh, uh. it's K and Fab, hey, and we was in the lab. We might be cooking or doing some hot and crabs. Hey, hey. remix. Oh, they put cog in. <laughs> remix. They put cog in. Hey, remix. They put that cog in. <laughs>